Hey guys! I am Rohit Kumar and again I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel which is SEO Experiment by Rohit Pal. So, this video is dedicated to all of my subscribers who are SEO freshers or trainees in the digital marketing field. Yes, this video is going to help all the SEO trainees and freshers who want to do SEO work in an easier and faster way. Now coming to the topic, in this video, I am going to tell you the 5 best SEO extensions for the Google Chrome browser. Yes, I know most digital marketers knew about SEO extensions already. But because most of the SEO trainees and freshers are not aware of the SEO extension that's why in this video we will learn about the 5 best SEO extensions you can use in your Google Chrome browser. Before I start the video, let me ask you for a little favor first. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to receive all my latest videos notifications. I will continue making some more interesting SEO videos for you guys but for that, I need more motivation. So if you subscribe to my channel, I will take this as a positive hint. Now, without taking any more time, let's start the video. So the first SEO extension is G-Infinity. This extension is the best extension for extracting all the search results links that are displayed in search engine result pages. It is useful when you want to extract all of the links indexed on Google for a particular website or if you want to extract the guest post submission pages that are indexed on Google. It will give you the search result within few seconds and you can use that data for your own purposes. Installation and activation are very easy. Just watch the video to see how this extension works. Ok, now you have to open this web page in your Google Chrome browser. I will share the sheet link in the description of the video. Just a little bit scroll down and you will see install the G-Infinity plugin for Chrome browser. Click on the red highlighted Ginfinity hyperlink to automatically redirect to the plugin page, from where you can install and activate the plugin. After opening the next tab, you can see that we are having the option to add this plugin to the Chrome browser. Click to install and activate this extension. Also, I will share the extension link in the video description. A confirmation pop-up will open to ask you whether you want to install this extension or not. You can choose to add this extension or cancel the request. After the installation. You can click on the extension bar of the Chrome browser. After clicking the extension bar, you will see your installed extension and activated. Click on the pin button next to the extension name and the extension will be activated. The extension is successfully installed and activated. Now it is not working but when you will open the Google home page, the extension will start working. Now, get back to the web page where we found Ginfinity extension. We have to scroll down this page a little bit. Now you will see Google SERP extractor named bookmarklet. You have to do a mouse click on this bookmark and hold it with the left mouse button to make it able to drag. After holding this bookmarklet, drag this bookmarklet into the bookmark bar and leave the left mouse button there. The bookmarklet will be placed there and that's it. All the process is done. Now, you can open the Google homepage and you will see the extension is already activated and seems colorful now. Also, now we have to search on Google using the site feature. With the site feature, we would be able to get all the links indexed on the Google for a particular website. I will find all the links of the Backlinko website in the Google search engine which are indexed. After searching the Backlinko website with site feature, I got some pretty good links that are indexed on Google. Now, I have to do scroll down only. I have to do scroll down till the page is automatically expanding or reloading itself. Once the page will stop reloading itself, I will end scroll down there. As you can see here. I scroll down till the 30th page and because automatically reloading has been finished. Now I have to stop the scroll down. Click on the bookmarklet in the bookmark bar and all these links that you are seeing right now will be opened in a new tab. The next page will look something like this. Now scroll down until you see the all URLs list option. As you can see here, I have found the URLs list option. Now I will select all of these URLs and copy them to the desired place. I have selected all the links and will paste these links on my own Google spreadsheet. I have placed the links in my Google spreadsheet. The total number of links is 320 and you can see that some links are duplicates. You can delete the duplicate ones and that's it. We have extracted the links of a particular website that are indexed on Google. Using this technique you can find guest post websites also. You just have to use the correct search operator in the Google search bar. You can see in the screenshot that I am using Technology Plus Write for Us search operator to find technology websites that accept guest posts. So this extension will help you in finding guest posts links also. On the second number, we don't have an extension but a website named Squoosh. It is an online app that can help you to compress images effectively. 
I will give this app link in the description which you can open in your Google Chrome browser. Now watch the video to see how this app works. Open this website in your Google Chrome browser and click on the drop or paste button in the middle of the web page. Now suppose you have an image already downloaded in your system. And the image size is 2.6 megabytes. You have to select this image after clicking on the drop or paste button in this online app. After opening the image in this online app, you can see that the actual size of the original image is 2.69 megabytes. Now you can select the file format from the drop down and see the compressed size of the image. You can increase or decrease the image quality as you like. The compressed size of the image will totally depend on the quality of the image. As you can see I have selected a V file format and the compressed size is 850 kilobytes by default. When I selected the file format as MozJPEG, the compressed size of the image is 1.49 megabytes by default. And when I selected the WebP file format from the dropdown, the compressed size of the image is 1.36 megabytes. So as you can see you can choose the file format and quality of the image yourself. And this app will help you compress the images in an effective and better way without losing the quality. On the third number, we have an online SEO tool called Meta Tags Extractor by BuzzStream. This tool will help you extract the meta tags for the web pages that you will request. Remember, it will only extract meta tags, not the heading tags. Watch the video to learn how to use this tool. I will give this website link in my video description. Just click on the link and access this tool online. For this demo, I am again considering URLs from Backlinko website. I will use that Buzz Stream tool to extract the meta tags for these URLs. Now, I have copy pasted all the URLs in the given blank field provided by this tool. After that, just click on the go button to start the process. Now as you can see here, the process is finished and meta tags for these URLs are extracted. Now, I will click on the download a CSV file button to download the file. You can see that I have downloaded and opened the sheet already. It is containing all the meta titles and descriptions for the requested URLs. This website can save you a lot of time in extracting information. The next extension we have on the fourth number is Absolute Enable Right Click and Copy. This extension helps you in copying the content that we cannot copy with right click and control plus C hotkey. In simple words, content is protected by their author so that no one can steal their original content. But this extension makes it easy to copy that protected text based content. Want to see how? Watch the video. So, first of all, Go to the Google Chrome extension webpage and search for the Absolute Enable Right Click and Copy. Once you see this extension, click on the Add to Chrome button. If you cannot find this extension link, check out the video description. I will paste the link there. Once you will see a pop-up, click on the Add Extension button and the extension will be installed in few seconds. Now as you can see here, I have already opened 4 tabs which are blogs written in Hindi. So the text content of these blogs is copy protected by some plugins or maybe coding. Let me show you these tabs one by one and I will show you what will happen when you will try to select the content written in these blogs. When I am trying to select the sentences, I am not able to get them. No matter how hard I try to copy this content, but I am unable to do it because as I said earlier, some kinds of plugins are protecting the content of these blogs. There are situations when you need to copy the content of others and then make it unique by adding or altering some pieces of content. So for doing this copying the content becomes important. And when some sites won't allow you to copy the content, you have to use absolute enable right click and copy extension. Click on the extension and then click on the red cross next to enable the copy option. Just after that, you will be able to select and copy the text freely. From header to footer, in any section, you can copy the content. You need to open the websites which do not allow you to copy the content and then you need to click on the extension and then click on the enable copy button. This will make your work easier and faster. Generally, I am not in favor to copy the content from other website and I strongly recommend everyone to write your own unique content. But if you are about to alter the original content by making some changes and making it unique by up to 80%, I support you. So why waiting anymore? Install this extension in your Google Chrome browser right now and make the things easier for you. Let's move to the final SEO extension. The next SEO extension is Autofill, which lets you fill the registration forms on website within a second. The process is very simple and can save you a lot of time if you are about to do registration on 100 of websites in a day. Just download this extension and in the setting option, assign the elements and codes to execute and that's it. You are ready to fill the forums within some seconds. Want to see how? 
watch the video till the end. Check out the video description and the link for this SEO extension. Copy the link and open in your Chrome browser. Once open, click on the Add to Chrome button to install this extension. When you see the pop-up, click on the Add extension as confirmation of installation. After installation, pin the extension in extension bar and right-click on to see more options. Select the options from the drop-down and you will be redirected to the next page. You will see a web page like this. In this web page, we can see options like, type, name, value, site and mode. We just have to fill the codes for type, name and value. We will not touch site and mode. OK. Now let me see how you will assign the codes in these elements. So in this window, we will assign, username, name, email, password and verify password options which you will see on the most of the website, where registration forms will be given to sign up. Click on the plus button down here and some fields will be added automatically. Now I will add the fields one by one. See the full process. So as you can see I have used only type, name and value field with my execution codes. After assigning the codes, click on the save button to save all this setting. Now I will show you how this extension will after you will save the settings here. Let's open a website first. After fully loading the website, we will click on the register button to see the registration form. After the page will be fully loaded, the codes will be automatically executed with the help of this extension. So, as you can see, after the page fully loaded, the extension ran the codes in all the fields such as username, email, password and verify passwords are automatically filled. Now, I will remove this data and will load this web page again to see you that this extension works 100% correctly. As you can see the extension is working fine and this will help you when you are about to do link building process. Now, if you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are first time on my channel. Comment down if you have any doubts. I will try to answer you as soon as I can.